Hey guys, Reef Spy here. Today I wanted to show you a new addition that I just picked up for a 180 gallon reef. What we're looking at here is called a blue velvet nudibranch. And you know, besides just looking really cool, this guy performs a really important function with that function being pest control. Inside of my refugium, I've got an infestation of flatworms. Now it's not too, too bad but you know, they are in here and you know, in small numbers, they really don't seem to uh, bother anything, uh, but they do multiply very quickly. And you know, I'd prefer that they weren't here. For the most part, they have remained contained inside of my refugium, but I have noticed that a few of them have made their way up into the display tank. For some reason, they always seem to gravitate towards the euphelias, like the hammers and torch corals. And I've also noticed them on some of the mushroom corals. The flatworms have never been able to establish themselves in the display tank. And I attribute that probably because I do have some fish in here known to eat flatworms, such as my mandarin goby, ruby red dragonette, and six line wrasse. There are other methods of dealing with flatworms such as Flatworm Exit by Salfort, and I have used this product and it does work. However, I've never found it to be 100% effective. Adding fish to my refugium really wasn't an option just because of how densely packed it is with macroalgae. So I've been on the lookout for a long time for one of these blue velvet nudibranchs, and today I finally found one. After a slow drip acclimation process, he was ready to go into the tank. I don't expect to see much of this guy, and he'll probably disappear into the algae growth. Probably the only way that I'll even know that he's in there is by checking the glass to see if there's any dent in the flatworm population that I'm used to seeing in here. It should be noted that these guys will only eat flatworms, and if you do not have sufficient flatworm population for them to, to eat, they will starve to death. I'm hoping the day comes when there are no flatworms in here, and at that point, I will move him on to another tank or give him to a fellow reefer. I've only had him in here for a short while, and as you can see in this video clip, he's already starting to go after the flatworms. I think he's going to be a good addition to the refugium, and I wish him the best of luck. That about concludes it for this video, so if you liked what you saw, hit the like button, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.